Hello students, hello viewers, welcome to Senior College Mathematics. Topic of discussion is algebraic graph. Lesson 10, quadratic equations graph part 7. This is another special case. And we have example 9. The base of an open tank is a square of sides, S meters, and its volume is 200 cube centimeters. A. Show that the total surface area Y square meters on the base and sides is given by the relation Y equal to S squared plus 800 over S. B. Remember figure 1. Copy and complete the following table of values for the relation y equal to s squared plus 800 over s. The table of value is clear. The values of s ranges from 5 to 12. The values of y, some are missing, which we are asked to look for. Remember, we got two. Using a scale of 2 centimeters to 1 unit on the s axis, for 5 less than equal to S, less than equal to 12, and 2 centimeters to 10 units on the Y axis, draw the graph of the relation. C. From your graph, find, remember we got 1, the value or values of S when Y is 176 meters, that is Q, uh, square meters, square meters. Remember figure 2, the value of S for which the total surface area is minimum. So let us take the solution part by part. So solution, this is the structure of the tank that has a square base. So you have the same side S and S, you know, in a square. All the sides are equal. Then you have the height as H. So let V cube meters be the volume of the tank. So the volume here is the square base times height. So the square base becomes area of the square now is S times S. That is S square times height H. That is why V is equal to S squared H. From the question, the volume V is 200 cube meters. You replace V with 200 and equate it to S squared H. We can make H the subject by dividing both sides by S squared. So H is equal to 200 over s squared so we are asked to show that the total surface area is equal to the given expression s squared plus 800 over s total surface area of the tank is equal to area of the base plus area of four lateral faces that is a side you have four sides in the diagram the square base tank so area of the base that is s squared now s times s s squared plus each face has the base and the height that is s h and because they are four you multiply it by four so area of four lateral faces become four s h so this equal to, we have S squared plus 4S. We've shown that the height is equal to this. So you replace height with 200 over S squared. You can reduce this S by S here. So you have only one S in the denominator. You are left with 4 times 200 over S. Finally, you have S squared plus 
800 all over s what you are asked to prove or shown from the question hello being my figure one is to copy and complete the table of values for the relation y equal to s squared plus 800 over s from the table the values of s are complete from 5 to 12 so for us to get y values we have to do about three things we need to get s squared and 800 over s then you add both together so this is s squared squaring each value of s from 5 to 12 you have 25 36 49 64 and so on the next that we need to get is 800 over s so you divide 800 by the first s value 5 you have 160 divide 800 by 6 133.3 divide 800 by 7 114.3 divide 800 by 8 you have 100 and so on next thing is to add s squared and 800 over s the first one is 185 that is 25 plus 160 the next is 36 plus 133.3 you have 169.3 and so on the last one is 144 plus 66.7 and that is 210.7 so we have it that rule the fourth rule is the same as the values for y so we are plotting these two sets of values hello Roman figure 2 we are to plot the graph but let's start with the scale as given in the question 2 centimeters equal to 1 unit on s axis 2 centimeters equal to 10 units on y axis so all the values are positive so the axis will be at the left the margin of y and bottom for s axis so for s value the first value is 5 you know if you are going backward before 5 you have 4 here we can't have origin because there's no zero so we take the first value here as 4 so that you can move to 5 you can move to 5 so 2 cm is 1 unit. so we assume that there is 0 1 2 3 4 before 5 so we start from 4 from 4 you have 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 for the y axis the lowest value there is 163.3 that means there should be 160 before 160 we have numbers like 150 140 down the line but because of the space we cannot take all the values behind so we start from 150 on the axis then we have 160 170 because 2 centimeters is 10 units so if here is 160 if you add 10 the next one becomes 170 180 190 till you get to 240 and so on on the s axis one line is 0 0.1 units and on the y axis one line is one unit difference is 10 so from 160 you have 10 lines to make it 170 so one line 
is one unit one line is one unit okay so the next thing is to plot the points when s is 5 y is 185 from 180 you count five lines this 185 against 5 when s is 6 y is 169 to the nearest whole number so this 169 against 6 when s is 7 y is 163 to the nearest whole number that's the third line from 160 when s is 8 y is 164 164 against 8 when s is 9 you have 170 to the nearest whole number for y so this is 170 against 9 when s is 10 y is 180 when s is 11 y is 194 to the nearest whole number and when s is 12 y is 211 to the nearest whole number the title is simply the function or relation or equation that you are plotting next is to join all the points together Using free hand or flexible broomstick, you join all the points together, as you can see clearly. See part of the question from the graph. Find the values or value of S when Y is 176. So you trace 176 on the graph. You can't see lines from 170. You have 176 if you trace to the curve you have the first point here and the second point if you trace the two points to the s axis if you trace the two points to the s axis you have s equal to 5.5 and 9.6 remember if you got two you find the value of s for which the total surface area is minimum the minimum value is somewhere here that is the lowest point of the curve you trace that point to y axis and s but we are interested in the point for s axis and that is 7.3 the third line from 7 since one line is 0 0.1 so the value of s for which the total surface area is minimum is 7.3 hello end of lesson 10 thanks for watching and learning don't forget watch out for more from the voice of peter Cos. Lastly, if you are not safe, your life is in crisis, to avoid that, give your life to the one that can save you, and that is the Lord Jesus Christ, and confess him as your Lord and personal Savior every day of your life. If you are safe already, congratulations, live righteously and be prepared, because on the last day, some will be taken and some will be left. Take good care of yourself, stay out of trouble, study your books. Do the needful at all times. Flee every appearance of evil. Don't defer others to make money. Use your hands and your brain to work genuinely and legally. And the Lord will bless you. Goodbye.